Hey guys, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights, and welcome to my channel. So we have a box here. In this box is a blind buy. It's probably going to be the last blind buy of this year. We'll see. <laughs> but I think it's going to be the last. And it's a new release. So I'll be unboxing this. And then I guess I'll just sniff it for the very first time and give you guys my first impressions of it. So let's open this up. I love when they have these little pull tabs to open it so I don't have to fuss with the knife to open it up. So it's really handy. So we have some bubble wrap here. We have an extra sample or two or one sample here of Angel by the House of Mugler. Great perfume. I don't even think I reviewed this one yet. But there have been a few people that have asked me to review this one, so I should probably do that at some point. And what's this? Just some stuff to read. And the perfume here is ta-da! Let me just put this box aside here. So this is True Sardi Donna Pink Marina. This is a new release, and it's a flanker of uh, Trusardi Donna, which is a perfume that I've been talking a lot about this year. Um, the EDT version, I just discovered it this year, and it was probably one of my most favorite discoveries, uh, perfume discoveries, um, for 2020, even though it was released earlier than 2020. So, yeah, I just decided to blind buy this i really liked the bottle of it and i like the the pink stripe thing sorry that it's blurry you guys <laughs> so let's give this thing a try i'm hoping i'm hoping it's going to be a blind buy success however if it's anything like the original the edt well, i think the edp is the original but if it's anything like the edt then i'll be a very happy woman so let's just get this open while I do this, maybe you can let me know in the comments uh, what your scent of the day is. All right. Opens like this. There's the bottle. Just pull it out here. Oh, wow. It's very heavy. <laughs> All right. So, hmm. Let's take a look at this bottle first of all. Very cute. It has like this beautiful pink bow here. Again, the stripes here. Trusardi Donna Pink Marina. This is a 50 milliliter bottle and it's in eau de toilette. And then it's just solid white on the back. And on the top here, we have this very nice cap with some detail very very nice so let's give this a sniff oh that's kind of cool that part i don't know what you call it but that where you spray out is actually also pink the same kind of pink as this i don't think i've ever seen that it's usually white okay just a small little detail <laughs> okay so let's try Ooh. Oh, it also has a nice little uh, T at the top. Yeah, okay. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. It's creamy, citrusy, fresh, clean. I'm not sure if there are any T notes in here, but I am kind of getting that same jasmine tea kind of feel as i did in the original the edt version i do get that in here too but this just feels more like a sparkling creamy fruity version of the original edt version oh my gosh it's so delicate it has a very nice sweetness, but it's not like a candy sweetness. It's like a very creamy fruit sweetness. I'll, I'll just um, read out the notes later on. 
But yeah, this is gorgeous, you guys. <laughs> From what I'm smelling, just based on this first sniff, I am enjoying it very much. It's very classy and delicate, just like the EDT. And yes, I definitely, as I said earlier, I definitely get the EDT vibes in here. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. Oh, it also has like a nice little pink stripe down the sides. I like it. I kind of knew that I would. Such an underrated house, I think, even though I haven't tried so many of their perfumes. Oh my gosh, from what I have tried, it's just beautiful. There are other flankers of this. There's a, a delicate rose one that I really want to get my nose on. So I'll just uh, pull up the notes here and read them out. So far, I do really enjoy it. Pink Marina. I haven't heard many people or anyone really talk about this one yet. All right, so the main accords are citrus, woody, floral, sweet, salty, fruity, fresh, Ozonic, aquatic, and aromatic, uh, released in 2020, and the perfumer is Natalie Lorson. Top notes are sorbet, melon, lemon, and pink grapefruit. Middle notes are sand lily, sea salt, and neroli. Base notes are sandalwood, cedar, and patchouli. So now that I look at the notes here, that sorbet note is probably where that creaminess is coming from, like a very beautiful fruity creaminess. Pink grapefruit's also in the notes. Yeah, I do get a little bit of citrus in here, um, but for my nose right now, I'm picking up like a lemony kind of citrus, like a creamy lemon. Ooh, that's kind of interesting that there's sea salt in here. I'll definitely be testing this, wearing this on my skin, and maybe a full review down the line. But yeah, just based on this first sniff, I do like it. I'm very happy. It does remind me of the EDT version, which I absolutely love. That one is a sparkling citrus yuzu jasmine tea scent. And I'm kind of surprised that there aren't any tea notes in here because... I'm kind of getting that same, you know, clean, crisp, white tea in here too. So yeah, those were my very first impressions of Trusarda, Trusarda, <laughs> Trusardi Donna Pink Marina. Beautiful bottle. I love it. And yeah, that's it for me for today. If you guys have tried this perfume, I'd love to hear your opinion on it. Other than that, thank you guys so much for tuning in today and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care guys. Bye-bye.